I'm a terrible mom because I'm not about to keep getting disrespected in my own home. If y'all want to normalize having ungrateful, disrespectful kids and getting bullied in y'all home, I'll be choosing me and I'm putting myself first. And I sent him with his dad. I'm about to. Yes. And I'm going to live my life, bro. I already started traveling the world. Oh, uh, there we go. Being married isn't the solution either. I need you to stop scrolling and listen to this. Because I want you to be validated in my mini B. Okay, so yesterday, or I don't know what day it was, but I had um, just a complete breakdown with my husband and I just... She had a complete breakdown with her husband. She's married came to the confirmation that I don't want to be a mom anymore. And how the f does that work? How does that work, yo? How do you not be, let me tell you now, let me, let me keep it a buck. Let me keep it a buck. There are men that won't deal with their kids cause they don't want to have to deal with yo ass anymore, ladies. But I don't know men that are like, man, I don't want to see that kid, yo. I'm a big Sylvester Stallone fan. I'm a big Sylvester Stallone fan. And uh, love Rocky and love Rambo. The last Rambo he did, where it was his niece, and I'm spoiler alert, if you missed it, the movie's been out for years. Cover your ears for 30 seconds. The niece is looking for her dad. She goes to Mexico and the dad um, is like, oh, I never wanted you and everything. And says it to his daughter's face. I don't know American men that do that. And that was, you know, a movie. I just, it just is unbelievable, man. So I'm not buying it, but okay. But women, they can just be in a marriage with kids and just be like, mm, I don't want to be a mother anymore. How does that work? I don't get that. It, it, maybe because I'm a guy, I just can't comprehend, but I, I don't understand how that happens. I had um, just a complete breakdown with my husband and I just came to the confirmation that I don't want to be a mom anymore. And he rebuked, rebuked my offer. He rebuffed your offer, not rebuked. Go ahead. Um, but I just want to remind y'all it's okay to be human and feel that way about our children. No, it's not. No, it's not. There is some type of mental break there. Like there, there's something that you're dealing with that's not okay to feel like that about your kids. That should be a uh, indicator that you need to go seek help. It's not okay. I have moments that I feel that way sometimes. And I was like really upset at myself for feeling that way, but um, I'm go I know I'm going through a transition in my life where it's like I had one season of something and there's a new season arising and I'm just in that gray foggy, I'm trying to find my, just my vibe, you know, my rhythm in this new season that's like coming up. And I'm, especially before my period, a little, a little spiral just a little bit. Um, but it's okay. No, it's not okay. It is okay to feel this way about our children. It is one of the hardest jobs being a mother. No, no, it is not, yo. No, it is, I, I, I hate this narrative, man. Like if we're gonna talk, let's really talk. The hardest jobs, no, you know what's a real hard job? Delta Force. Go join Delta. You think the, the frogmen, the Navy SEALs or something? Go join Delta Force. That's a hard job. Though what's the uh the movie with uh Kevin Costner and Ashton Kutcher where they're rescue swimmers, the Guardian. That's a hard job. 
It's a very hard job. Being a mother, everybody's got a mother, yo. Y'all got to stop accepting this narrative. All oh, being a mother is so hard. Dude, of all the mothers in history, let, let me just put this into perspective for you guys. Of all the mothers in history, modern day mothers have all the benefit, the best benefits and privileges and medical care and government assistance and all that stuff, right? And they complain the most. That shit is crazy, man. And all the women before did it, and y'all are sitting there. This is such, it's such a hard job. No, yo, I don't. I don't buy that, man. I, I personally, when I hear that in person, I'm either pushing back, or I'm just leaving the room. I don't even want to be around you if that's how you think, man. But it's some bull crap, man. It's some bull crap. Let's go. I take a lot of pride in being a mom, and I know you do too. And so I just want to give you the validation that, you know, sometimes we have hard weeks and it's not, it's not a reflection of like us being a sh mom. Not a reflection of us being an ishy mom. Let me show you a reflection of an ishy, a self-admitted. Now y'all aren't going to get me like y'all got Kevin. Self-admitted, she calls herself an ishy mom. Watch this. You want a legit reason of why I'm a mom? There you go. Yes, yes, we would like to hear your legit reason. Let's go. I got you one. I got you one. I do. Before she gets into this, Gentlemen, I want you to imagine that in this situation, the child she's talking about is your child. Just, I want you to imagine. Normal day, but it wasn't, it wasn't at all. I get so overwhelmed and lost and being a single mom to my three kids here that it's hard to remember that I had two older boys that still need me no matter what. Even if they don't tell me, even if they don't reach out and say, Mom, I need you, they still do. All right, so it sounds like she has two older boys and a younger child, right? Let's go. My son Anthony graduated high school yesterday. And he walked across the stage at seven o'clock last night never got i forget things you know what happens with me more than anything else is i'll misplace things and i'm if i misplace it it's very difficult for me to find labea is the finder of the house my wallet and my keys stay in the same place i have this routine where i come in the house and the first thing i have to do is i have to put my wallet and my keys in the same place otherwise i won't be able to find them i take them out of whatever pocket i have to do that um i'm a note taker and we all make mistakes y'all we all make mistakes but you missed your son's high school graduation mm, well Let's give her a little bit of grace. Let's see if she has a good reason. I wasn't there. Mm, mm, mm. I wasn't there. And I know my son's heart and I know he's going to be like, it's okay, mom, I forgive you. It's okay. Like his dad wouldn't act like it was a big deal. Nobody act like it was a big deal. And when I found out, I was so upset. He didn't even tell me. You're mad at him for not telling you about his graduation. I found out last minute, but like it is a huge deal. And I forget. I forget. 
I forget. Because okay. I have so much on me and I'm constantly going, constantly stressed, constantly behind. And yesterday I was just so stressed out over everything I'm behind right now and trying to make new content, trying to push it, trying to oh, promote it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Did this try to make content? I said, bitch. You missed your son's high school graduation for TikTok. You suck, Shorty. You act now. We gave her a chance. We tried to give her a chance. We tried to give her some grace. Trying to make new content. Trying to push it. Trying to promote it. Trying to, you know, push myself as much as I can. Damn, yo. How dare you? You know what's cold blooded? Shout out to accountability commentary. This is nasty work right here. She missed her son's high school graduation because she was trying to put out content, push and promote her content. And she turned that into content. Damn. She missed his graduation due to putting out content and put the fact that she missed his graduation out as content. Man. Wide nose having motherfuckers. That's some nasty work, yo. Nasty work. Let's go. And I was not there to watch my son walk across that stage. I'll never get that opportunity again. And he'll never forget it either. That is cold blooded how she did that. If you read between the lines, yo. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree with you. I would have to agree with you that that makes you. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's take another person. That is a self-admitted subpar mother. Let's go. Y'all got it. I just want y'all to know y'all got it. I'm a terrible mom. She said it. He with his dad. His dad. Y'all said send him to his daddy. He is with his daddy. And I'll be going to therapy. Because I'm not about to keep getting disrespected in my own home. All that. If y'all want to normalize having ungrateful, disrespectful kids, I'm getting bullied in y'all home. You're getting bullied in your home by your kids. And if they're disrespectful, you, you know, normally there aren't bad dogs. There are bad owners. And I'm not saying kids are dogs, but people are products of their environment. If he lives with you and he's bad. What does that say about you saying? feeling worthless and unappreciated that's on y'all but i'll be choosing me and i'm putting myself first i sent him with his dad good i'm about to yes this one i can get with she sent him to his dad honestly we could stop the clip right here but it's important for you to know how to think the one thing i will give her she caved the child to the dad. That is key, yo. That is key. I, I, I'm, I'm glad the dad got the kid. Get myself a one bedroom apartment, and I'm gonna live my life, bro. I see Shorty every other weekend, and we can do some fun at have the most fun world. But that's all I got for him is a good time. Four days out of the month. That's all I got for him now. Maybe a couple FaceTimes and phone conversations throughout the week, but but that's it. I'm not providing fin financially. I'm not doing extra except the little fun that I want to do when I. I hope the dad takes her for child support, yo, for real. Since she said she's not providing ish financially, let's go. I have him every other weekend, and and that's y'all was right, and I'm so glad that y'all helped me resolve my issues i'm so glad y'all helped me come to the realization that i am a terrible mother 
and that I don't need my son. He does need to be with his dad, and that that's where he's finna be. Facts. My brain started traveling the world. Ah, uh, there we go. They outside, dog. They outside. Yeah, man. They need to be outside. Let's go. I am definitely about to take my to some therapy and i'm about to embrace my newfound freedom because my baby daddy keep telling me life's too short life's too short life's too short life's too short for me to keep getting dogged out by a motherfucker who can't even buy a pack of cigarettes bro that's what life is too short for y'all pop y'all in the comments like i don't even give a i'm not even finna argue with y'all because i don't care bro i'm i'm just done wow okay you see how they think Quantum, solace, even female animals have enough accountability of being a mother to her cubs. Yet, she operates on instincts, living off the land of her environment. What the F is their excuse? Good question. I believe, number one, they're broke. I'm broke, broke. And they're selfish as hell. And they're cheap. That's what I believe.